Okay, guys. We're live right now. Okay, I'll be recording this video on YouTube. Okay, let's see. Is anyone going to be in tonight? I'm not sure what anyone's going to be in tonight, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming, if you guys are in. I'm turning on my other Twitch right now be to, to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Because I want to see whether anything goes wrong, you know. Yeah. Before we start, because, yeah. I don't want to wind up with another black box. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, things seem to be going okay. Okay. Okay, I think we can start. I think we can start right now. Okay, I just turned everything on, making sure everything is fine. So guys, it's been a really long time since we've actually seen each other. I hope you guys, yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys didn't forget about me, but yeah. Hello guys, and welcome. Okay. Just to make sure everything's going fine, we're going to be, um, okay, wait a minute, I need to check something else. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry. Let me check something first. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Welcome everyone to this chat. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Uh, it's been a really big honor. Okay. Okay, I think we can start. We can start with the game. Okay, just to make sure. Gamer Girl Detective here, and welcome everyone to a revisit stream. Everybody, exams are finally over, guys. So I'm very glad to see everyone here once again. I'm extremely sorry the exams have been really, really hectic, but I'm back. 14th of August, guys. Uh, first of all, apologies to everybody for not making any uh, National Day special because um, yeah, I'm very aware that National Day is 9th of August, but unfortunately, I think I missed it. Which I'm really, really, really sorry, everybody. 
Uh, Sad Stranger is here. Hello, hello, welcome to this Twitch stream. Hopefully, we have no black boxes or whatever. Um, yeah, the black box errors, I'm very annoyed by them. Hopefully, you'll be gone <laughs> in this stream. I don't want to have another fourth stream or another fifth stream where the black box will appear again. I don't want that. <laughs> But yeah, welcome Sad Stranger to the stream, um, and also guys, hello everybody from YouTube who will be watching this after the stream, hello guys. And yes, and seriously guys, special thanks to every single one of my subs for having the patience to actually wait, I'm really really sorry once again. But seriously guys, we're here and we're back with another revisit stream everybody, and today we'll be playing Angelica Weaver Catch Me When You Can. And this one is gonna be really, really good. I actually played once in the past, you guys can go check it out. I played at least once or twice in my past, I really enjoyed that game. I came, I actually, um, let's just say I came across this game when I was flipping through the Big Fish Games catalog, and I enjoyed it so much. And it's made by Mumbo Jumbo, which means, yeah, it's gonna get really, really good. Okay, I keep missing the streams because I had things to do and I miss it again. Aww. It's okay, Sad Stranger, you can stay, you can come along on this adventure, and you can uh, look for mysteries along with us, don't worry about it. Everyone will be welcome for the ride. So guys, hope everyone enjoys, and uh, let's do this everybody, let's, let's go. Okay, um, I'll be doing, introducing some new features, uh, of course, as usual, Mumbo Jumbo has some um, very interesting features going on in their game, so, okay, let's do this. Okay, so I see we're in Chicago, Dorset Street, in September 8th. This vision was more vivid and intense than what I experienced on my last case. This villain has killed before. They will not stop. They enjoy the pattern and they enjoy the game. I felt what the latest victim felt. I saw what he saw. A pursuit that started in the present, ended in the past, at a place that resembled the dead end where Andrew Chapman died last night. Okay, so basically guys, we're starting with this, apparently, this uh, female detective uh, who apparently has psychic abilities and apparently she can look into the past and she has her own powers as well. I see she has a dream with her. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to up the music volume. I hope everyone can still hear me because I couldn't exactly hear her. Okay, so. Okay, so basically guys, I see we have a lot of things to do here. We can look in the car, we can look in the bench. Let's take a look at the bench, guys. And yes, guys, we can. We actually have to look out for any uh, dream weavers and stars, and share badges and stuff. Okay. This neighborhood is no stranger to violence, but tonight the press is in a frenzy. They sense a different kind of murderer has come to hunt. Okay. Okay. Looking for any um, bonus badges and also bonus um, dream dream weavers. Every dream weaver can give you a hint, uh, and also like uh, the bonus um, badges can actually give you a new game mode. Which yeah, Mumbo Jumbo games are really good, like do at doing that. Yeah. Okay, so I see we have a badge here, and okay, we have our phone. We're bringing our phone with us, and I see another dream weaver. And apparently, this is the profile of the murderer. Uh, no, not the murderer. The wit, the victim, the victim. So his name is Andrew Chapman. He's ages forty-seven. He is um, five foot nine. His eyes are blue, dark brown, wavy hair, heavy and muscular, and his complexion is pale. Interesting. Okay. A police medal of valor and a purple heart. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, for those people who receive a purple heart and a valor, means that they have very long service to the to the police team. So that's pretty cool. The glove compartment isn't needed anymore. Okay, so I guess we'll go out. And I see a few tools here. We can actually... I see we can come in here. And I see we have... Um, oh, whoa. Show yourself. Yeah, his last name is Chapman, uh, stranger. Yeah, we're, we're not afraid of this dude. I, I've seen too many, many dudes that I'm too used to it already. Okay. So I see we picked up a rubber mat, I think we'll be useful for later. And, okay, we need to, um... Okay, we need to dig up, I think. Yep. Okay, we have a house key. Um, do we have anything else here? No. Okay. Andrew Chapman, Dorset Street. Andrew won't be worrying about the electric company raising the rates. Ugh. Yeah. This brick is hand-painted. 
I need to collect all I can find and see how they relate to Chapman's murder. Okay, yeah, we need that for later. Okay. So I guess let's get to his house, guys, and let's do this. Okay, congratulations. You found a way to Andrew Chapman's house. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, see we have a lot of things to do here, guys. Um, don't worry, guys. I'll bring you on step by step on what to do. Okay. And yes, guys, hidden object scenes in this kind of games can actually, yeah, they will actually have the badges in there. So you may want to watch out. Okay. Mobile phones. Uh, water bottle. Okay, yeah, you can actually do that. Which, yeah, okay. Notebook. Okay, artificial day. It could mean anything right now. It could mean a watch or a clock or a computer. Okay. Okay, ring box, uh, cash, insect weapon. Insect weapon, I think it's a fly. Yeah, it's a fly swatter. Carburetor. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think it could be a car part or something. Oh. Chapman was a widower. His ring is missing. It isn't in the box and it wasn't on the body. Good point. I mean, what, why, would he want, why did it, would they want his ring? Okay, um, computer. Oh. The computer was not touched, so information may not have been the motive here. Good point. Okay, I see we have some cash to find. Okay, I'm looking for the carburetor as well. Okay, if you guys have any, if you guys think you saw anything, please feel free to shout it out. I'm actually gonna head see soon because I need trouble, not my mom's more. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, stranger, don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah, I know how it feels. Okay, cash. Robbery wasn't a motive. Yeah, I mean, why would a cash still be here? Okay, uh, let's see, um... I notice, uh, apparently they're looking for an urn. An urn. Okay, um, artificial day. It could be a calendar. Uh, okay. Mail. Okay, um... Okay, um... Oh, there's the urn. There's dust on the urn. The killer returned and planted this. Oh, and I say I found a carburetor. Dang. Uh, what's the gun case, though? The gun case. Um... Is that a gun case? Chapman left the house in a hurry with his pistol, so that means that he could be just like he felt that he was being threatened, and he can just take it and run, and run. Yeah. Okay. Artificial day. I'm looking for anything that can resemble like a calendar or like a artificial day. Let's see, um... Oh, light bulb, of course. And I see a number break. Okay, we have many things to do here. The computer I picked up was actually a laptop since it looked like it. Yeah, true. I mean, this was made in 2011, so... I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, we have plenty of things to do here. Okay. Yeah, that man definitely had skills, but it's the remote we want. And this bonus thing here. Yeah, I mean, look at the trophies. It's obviously skillful. Okay. Whoa. Dang. Okay, what's going on? What got Chapman out of the house was not subtle. I mean, he, they broke the window. Oh, oh. I'm guessing she's thinking about how how the person make their way in. Okay, I just noticed. Yep. Um, okay, I'm just gonna flip through these because I'm not sure whether anyone wants to take a look at them. Yeah, apparently you will actually get more like insights and more like stuff and background about her like case in here. Okay, here we go. And it's gonna spoil a lot of things, so I prefer not to do the journal. Okay. Never trust an electrical appliance and a puddle of water. I need to take a safety measure before I can check. The <laughs> man got more wards than me. Yeah, true, true. Okay. 
Water and electricity don't mix, so we dishwasher was meant to get my attention. It's locked and running the killer cycle to remove evidence. The hunt is being made into a personal game. So this went from a freaking murder case to a throw hunt. Oh, okay. Not good. It won't shut up in the door when we move and lock us up the knob. Okay. Okay, we have to go to this VCR and okay, I see we're dream over here and we got this. This program was paused after the killing and after the forensics team went over the home and crime scene. And channel 187 was no accident. That's the police call number for homicide. Please remember this number, guys. Uh, I'm not sure where this number is random. Uh, we'll need that for later, for a later puzzle. Okay. I think we have everything we have we can do here, so... Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay. It seems the killer is leading us somewhere. Okay, we have plenty of things to do in this uh, in this area from here onwards, so let's do this. Okay. Okay. Just looking for any stuff I might miss. No, no, I don't think so. Okay. No water is coming out drain after a light rain. There must be a blockage. Um, okay, let's use the ladder here. And let's- oh. Okay, we have a badge here. Do we have anything else? Not really, except for the brick. Okay, don't worry. I noted it down in my head. Don't worry. But if anyone wants to help along, please also feel free to help. Something is hidden here, but it's too dark, cell phone. It'll take some leverage to get this grade off. Okay. No, we, we need something stronger. Okay. Okay, uh, in case anyone's wondering why I wanted everyone to take note of the channel number, is for this. Shaman's old lock is removed. There's someone attached to a brand new one. Okay. Okay, the channel was 187. That's the police call number for homicide. The killer oh. enjoys the chase and has made it personal. Hmm. Huh. Okay, we have a pruner, and oh, good God, not this puzzle. Okay. There's actually an achievement. Like, I'm trying to see where is the best move here. There's actually an achievement, by the way, for those people who don't know. We have a crowbar here. I think that's um yep, that's a dream we were over there I just saw. By the way, you can actually solve that puzzle in four moves. Uh I think I just failed doing that. Whoops. Okay. Okay, let's see whether we can bright it up and we can bright it up. Okay. We got the next brick. Okay. Now let's go beyond. Something's in there. The scrub bushes in the way. Pruners. Okay, break. Oh, I see a badge. And I see a screwdriver. No, I don't see anything else. Okay. And I see we have, um, okay, we have a dark area over here. It's too dark to see how to repair the light. The cover needs to come off. Okay, screwdriver. Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay, we have the knob. We have the knob. Okay. We have the knob, so I guess we can actually go back to the... Um... I hope everyone still remember what to do with the dishwasher. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Oh, why is there a shoe there? <laughs> There's a shoe here. The killer is arrogant. 
evidence was put on display and set to be washed clean while I investigated. There is nothing to trace on Chapman's shoe. The killer ate Oh, frick. Whoops. How does a female carry knife? I have no idea. This was game logic. Okay, basically what she said is that the killer ate a leisurely meal and purposely, like, kind of, like, uh, forced the entire, like, dishwasher to just wash everything clean. And by the way, this play doesn't seem to belong to the to in the present, so yeah. In this in this set here. So this is suspicious. I mean look at the play, it's pretty cool actually. That's cool. Oh. And I see we have something here. Ooh. Okay, wire caps. That's great. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how she carried eight bricks. This is a question, even I don't know. Even I can solve. Okay, let's get a look here and let's let's uh, repair them. Okay, wire caps. The killer is playing games. A black light was put in the street light. The lab team has no idea about the invisible ink. Oof. The outline of the body was made by the killer in the invisible ink. The killer covets where the victim died and may have specifically positioned the body. The arms are in the 8 o'clock position. Today is the 8th. Maybe the number is important, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, like she said, uh, of course, she said that the arms are in the 8 o'clock position. It could be important or it, could, it might not be important. Hello, Velda, welcome. We're revisiting this game. This game is really good. I'm surprised that not many people actually found out about this game. This game is really good. So I'm revisiting it again. Okay. You missed half the uh, half of the first part, Velda. <laughs> okay, but seriously, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, by the way, guys, for being so patient. It'll take 10 breaks to work out this puzzle. Okay. Um, yeah, but seriously guys, thank you so much for being patient. I know my exams time had actually took took over a lot of my time. Okay, the entry is rusted as we open for months. I miss- I am missing something, definitely. Okay, uh, I need somewhere to use to spray paint. Okay, I'm not finding the place again. Wait, let me- let me- let me recall, let me recall. Yeah, okay. It's okay, Vildo, it's okay, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And by the way, I'm really sorry for taking too long to, um... Yeah, I'm really sorry I took too long after the stream. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I knew I was missing something. Uh, this lady is, um, one of the Chicago Police Division detectives. She's called Angelica Weaver. She's the main character in the story. <laughs> yeah. That's not me. <laughs> I wish I was that nice, but no, I'm not, I'm not that. I'm not her. Sorry. Okay. How this game works, how this, um, puzzle works is, um, is actually really simple. Just think of it as Sudoku. I think some people know what Sudoku is. I feel- I would feel really old if I had to discuss what Sudoku is. Okay, so basically guys, uh, every square, every row, every column, um, cannot re like, the same- it doesn't- it can't have repeating numbers. None of them can have repeating numbers, okay. So, okay, like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I think 8 and 9 would be here. Okay, now, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um... 4 and 9 are missing. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think 7 is here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. Is it 2 and 9? Yep. And then so on and so forth. One, two, three. Okay, this is gonna be very confusing. Okay, one. We know it's definitely not this one. So okay, let's see. Should be over here. No, not 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 there. Not there. Not there. Okay, should be over here. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, four and two, and six and three. Yeah, uh, this is actually just Sudoku. Don't don't worry about it. It's actually really easy. It's just it's just Sudoku, Billo. It's just Sudoku. Okay, congratulations. You solved the brick puzzle in one time. Oh, thank you, thank you, man, thank you. <laughs> oh. And apparently we have a hidden paper. I may send you the bloody knife if you only wait a while longer. Catch you when you can, Miss Weaver. Ah, uh, so we have a challenger here in our hands. That's interesting. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. This woman has wounds nearly identical to those found on Andrew Chapman's body, but her shredded clothes are from a hundred years ago. The bodies fell or were positioned the same way. No signs of a struggle. The killer either surprised him or was never perceived as a threat. The impression on her finger indicates that she wore a ring. It's missing, but her purse is here. Now in London, England, 1888. Okay, so guys, we're here on part two. Let's do this. I saw her last moments and felt what she did. The end was sudden. She did not see the killer. Her scream was silenced by a male's left hand covered in a leather glove. The killer said nothing, but his mouth was open. His breath came slightly down on her. Judging by her height, the killer could not have been tall. I'm going to explore the neighborhood and learn this woman's name. Okay, so basically guys, I think we just stumbled back in time in London, England, 1888 on the same date, September 8th. So basically, our aim here is to try to find out what happens in September 8th, 1888. So, yeah, apparently, uh, apparently there's a victim here as well in the same position. Okay, so, okay, we have a lot of things to do here as well in the entire town of London. The killer wanted to prevent any potential witnesses from coming outside so he could work on his special project. No one witnessed anything. The window is like a shut eye. Cover is like close eye shut and covered. This isn't a murder weapon. It will not inflict the same kind of wounds on the body. Maybe it was meant to mislead the authorities in taking a soldier did it. I need to hit and sleep for the travel. There's no Wi-Fi there for me to watch the stream. Aww. Uh, have a safe trip, man. Have a good trip. Have a great trip, okay? Have fun. And have a good night. A uh, good night, stranger. Okay, police Chicago. Okay, we have something to take here. And, okay. No one in this apartment could have heard the violence. Muffled violence. Let me stay in bed. Okay. And I see we have a clue here. The triangle on the third step is freshly scratched. It's a killer playing games. Okay, guys, we need to remember this combo. We need to remember this combo here. Okay, I'll take note of it in my head. And I think we're all Okay. We need it for a lot another puzzle. Okay. Okay, we have a poster. And I see we are nearing an a suspect's house. It's called John Pizer. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing we need to put a poster here. Ghastly murder in the East End of the latter apron slasher. It fits, and a bootmaker would have interest in the victim's missing footwear. Knock knock. Okay, let's break in. Let's break in. Oh, I'm guessing this John Pizer. If I find solid proof that John Pizer is the killer, he won't get far. Yeah, we're definitely come and get him. Okay, we have things to do here. We I see it. we have um Dreamweaver and okay, we have a C here. Matching. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go, I guess. <laughs> okay, just just find p missing pairs of shoes. Okay, um... Okay, it, it looks way harder than... 
Yeah, it looks way harder than it sounds, definitely. <laughs> you won't get away with this, John. Yeah, true. I mean, if he- if, uh, only if he's guilty, okay? Guilty and to prove an innocence, Bildo. Okay, uh, white here. I'm looking for the shoe. Any- any pairs of shoes that fit. Like, anyone that matches anything. Uh. I see there's a shoe up here. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. There's another shoe there. Okay, okay. This has just gone tricky. Okay, um. I see you have multiple shoes here, too. Bildo. If John Pizer is behind this, he won't get away. Definitely. Okay, this one should be here. And this one is, should be... Okay, there are no more shoes there. Any other shoe that looks like this? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I see um I see a badge over there, I just saw that. We're not using any hints, uh, there's actually an achievement for that. Do don't use hints at all. I'm looking for that second pair, that, that second shoe. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, there's a cat. Okay, we need to find the victim's boot. Okay. Congratulations, she matched all the footwear in Pizer's boot shop without a hint. Oh. This is the victim's missing boot. It proves Pizer was at the crime scene and did not inform the police. But was he the killer? I found plenty of shoes, but no traces of blood. I sensed she smelled the leather of the glove that covered her mouth. But not a heavier scent like the hide used in soles or boot polish. Mr. Pizer may have been trying to steal a pair of shoes to sell in his shop, but had to flee before he could finish for fear of being linked to the murder. So he, he stole this pair of shoes. But yeah. <laughs> he just ran off because he was worried that he was being tied to the crime. Sharp tools and a quick temper is a bad combination. True, true. Have to agree on that. If anything made a paper went in here, you surely might got sucked into the bowels of the city. Okay. Is here a dream over here? We have a lot of things to find. We have a lot of stuff to find in this section here. Okay. This London fog is too thick to explore. And I, I see learn more oh. about the victim if I track where she began her walk. Which tracks do I follow? Luckily, we have one thing that we can help. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, the main- okay, how this puzzle works is it can get super complicated. Just look for that freaking shoe print. And it can get really complicated and confusing because, yeah, it can look so alike. So my freaking advice to you guys is to follow where she could walk. Just look. 
at any like possible locations and please take note of her boots it was round with um small base yep okay here and by the way if you click on the wrong footprint you can actually start again so okay let's see whether we can do that without like getting lost Wow, okay. Hello, Spark Dick. Okay. Looking for the shoe prints? Because I don't want to start all over. Whoa, what the frick? Okay, here. definitely made a path to the victim. He saw her, but did he kill her? I don't think so, since her f shoe prints are still here. So it could be someone else. Um... Whoa. Okay. Now we need to see where they lead to. Oh, for, yeah, this is why I tell you guys, it can actually reset, yeah, as soon as you click on the wrong shoe print. Here we go. There's no doubt about it. The victim connects with this building. She might live here. Okay, now we need to um, find seven things from this vicinity, stack them, and get in through the window. Okay, this is going to be so interesting. Okay. Find seven items, you say. Okay, we got an apple. Okay, so that this is our stopping stopping point here. She stopped here. So now we need to find other objects as well. Oh. Oh, look, it's a horsey, guys. It's a horsey. Something needs to persuade a horse to move. Oh, come on. We all know what horses like. Okay, we need that. Oh my god, the horse is so cute. The light inside looks inviting, but the door is a block shark. Can we use a bay on it? Yep. Okay, here we go. Okay, we need the chair. We need a table. I like how we're just dragging this entire table. Yeah. Okay, we need to remember that. I'm remembering it. Oh, I remember this. Plate. Okay, I think we need more plates. Okay, um, come over up here. Today's menu was shepherd's pie and blood pudding. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Nothing much to do here. Do, can we get this chair? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I think we have everything we need. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, how this puzzle works is that you need to stack them all. You need to stack one by one. And by the way, these things can actually move. So be really freaking careful. Yeah, like this. Uh, they are not- they are vulnerable to gravity. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get a very good spot over here. Okay, here we go. Oh, good lord. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Thank god. Okay, okay, hopefully we are doing this, hopefully. Isn't enough. Oh, thank god, okay. Yeah, there are actually different combinations on how to do it, but yeah, there's that's actually one possible way. The error might be interesting at some later time, and I see we have another combo here for... Okay. Okay, Dream Weaver. Another, but specially, Shape Rod is needed to open this door. And some light is needed to look around the closet. Leonard? Oh. Okay, I see a pipe. Police Chicago. Pipe. The killer is playing cat and mouse with a person of authority in this time period. Is the murderer of Andrew Chapman a present-day copycat? The police officer you're playing has got to be strong to fit a table in their destructible, indestructible pockets. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, I know, game logic sometimes really, like, defies all logic. Okay, uh, I noticed there is something we need to do over here, the pipes. And we got an up. Okay. I noticed we still have the spray paint. That's cool. Okay. Nope. Whoa! I hear deliberate noises. I am not alone. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. So apparently we're here in this room. Okay. There's more- less like retail store NPCs fitting a car in their pockets. True. True. Yeah, sometimes I question your logic. Oh, snake oil. What ailed her. And where she got this brand of Hocus Pocus snake oil. Yeah, back then, remedies were not exactly like the most, like, um, effective remedies. I mean, stuff like snake oil and stuff may be, like, faked. Back in the past, I mean, counterfeit- counterfeit products was not exactly, like, avoidable. But some are useful. Okay. Stockings. Okay. Chicago. Ship's whistle. Source of wool. Source of wool will be a sheep. Milk byproduct, that will be cheese, I think. Cheese. I see a school chalk. Why would there be a chalk on the school? <laughs> Congratulations, you collected all three rats in the boarding room hidden object scene without a misclick. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. <laughs> oh, ring box. Her ring was not on her body and it isn't here. Just like Andrew Chapman. Hmm. This couldn't be a coincidence, right? Oh, she- Patient wolf. 
good with sharp tools left this here or gave it as a gift. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a lamb. A loom shutter. Okay, um garter, ship whistle. Gloves. Cheese. Someone else was here. That isn't her bite mark. Since when does a woman have mustache hairs? <laughs> Um, I do, I do. Um, I mean, some women do have mus mustache hairs, but not this long. <laughs> we don't. We I don't exactly have like mustache hair this long. Don't worry. <laughs> but also know what I look like. <laughs> also know who I look like. Yeah, I think you guys can testify, right? Uh. What a garter. So, um. Oh, those are garters. That's cool. I suspect it's those, but I didn't dare to click on it. Um, ship whistle. Um, I can see many things that could be a ship whistle. Oh, there we go. A boss in a shit whistle is an interesting trinket. Did she know someone who worked at sea? And I see we have a plate over here. Okay, we need that plate. Okay, I see we have a bunch of things to do here as well. Mar Sophia Mario Cooper. <laughs> I'm not Mario, sir. The story boss was more valuable than what the victim could have afforded. By the way, guys, this is another, another um, clue here. If you guys notice, there's a hexagon here. Okay, so. Okay. If you guys pay attention, you should know the numbers. I think this one is 4, 6, 3, 5. Her name was Annie Chapman. Oh. So it could be Andrew Chapman's great, great, great grandmother or... Or at least a distant relative. Same surname. Dang, is this is this a family feud or is this something else that's bigger? That's why I wanna know. Okay. We have some things to do here, guys. Um Okay, the plates, we had to put them back. Okay, we have a key. And then we're gonna go back there and open the box. Oh. Whoa. And we're back in a few days earlier. August 31st. And we I see we dropped our purse. Oof. It's gonna be a big mess. Okay. Okay, let's grab some coins. Three specially scratch pickets I needed to repair this fence. One could be broken in half. Okay. Okay, and I see we need to do this. Okay. How this puzzle works? Let's see. I'll show you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, where's twenty two? Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Both women. That mark on the throat. 
Her locket is missing and she wants it back. Maybe it will lead to her identity. She wants a locket back. Okay, let's give it to her. Okay, I see we have a bag of coins and yeah. We have another victim, I guess. Okay. The vendor is gonna need some money for all this food. Okay. Let's borrow her purse. Homemade food. Okay. Okay, we have tons of areas to discover. Okay, but I think we need to do this one at a time. Let's do this. Okay. This is skillfully tied sailor's, sailor's knot. It would take too much time to untie it. And the uh, fake old door to this schoolhouse will only open with the correct key. Oh no, spark take. No way. No. Something long and flexible is needed to grab the key. You, you got chased and you- Oh no. No way. No. Okay. We have a mortuary. Okay, that would be useful. Okay, um, I see we have a locker. Loud noises will wake the dead, but a locker is sufficient to do it. It's missing. It's like a dog with one eye chasing me around a map. Oh. Someone who works here would be a great suspect. They know the area, make the kill, and admire their handiwork at their leisure when the body is brought in for examination. Yeah. I mean, it's a good suspect, but... Are they the one? Everyone who works here will have some sense of anatomy and how to neatly end a life. Good point. Good points. The nails are too deep to be pulled up by hand. Oh, okay. We have some things here. All part of a day's work for a mortuary assistant. Um, ice hook. A notch I frozen inside. Maybe something can accelerate the melting. Can we use the ice hook? Yep. Okay. I mean, we can always melt the ice, but the hot water is missing. Okay, I see we have two sides to the room. Hair on the food, not charming, but okay, bye, Spark Dig. Glad to see you on this stream. I maybe I can drop by your stream soon. See ya. Okay, Mr. Robert Mann, I expect you to keep your bargain and supply me with the specimens I require for my study. Shall I find other memes? Montague jo John Druid, Hitmaster 109. Okay, interesting. Druid's notes. Trying to look for anything to pick up, but I don't see anything, so okay. George's notes. Okay, I see we have um, a few things here. A light source is needed on the subject. Um, glass pane? Glass is too large. Uh, okay, we don't have anything to cut it with. Okay, I think we'll come back here later. Okay, now we need to explore over here. Okay, we just picked up a faucet. But we still don't have the valve, so that's gonna be hard. Okay. Okay, deliveries only. Let's deliver some homemade food. Okay. And I see we stepped into this inn. I'm curious about these overcoats, but I can't just rifle through them all. Evidence will give me probable cause to search the right one. Okay. Victims of a serial killer. I see Martha Tabram and the unnamed victim. Annie Chapman is marked as the next victim. When I find the missing name, I bet the pattern is the same in Chicago. I bet you iPhone doesn't work in 1888. Yes, true. I mean, she doesn't have her phone with her, I just noticed, so... Yeah. <laughs> this will be a good picture to remove for the journal. Uh, fortunately, I don't think we have anything to remove, uh, to remove it with. Okay. The ten bells is the gathering place for neighborhood. Regulars and strangers came and went unnoticed. Yeah, there'll be a lot of people, actually. Okay, I see we're back at where we started. 
No home here on August 7th. So the killer's plan was in full swing yet. Okay, so I, apparently we're one step ahead. Uh, okay, we don't... I don't think there's a lot to see here. So, okay. Any Chapman's door locked this time. She was friends with the unidentified victim. It's important to get inside. We don't have the key. Okay, we have a sheet. Which um, actually reminds me, we need to go get the this one. I think it's time to actually go in there and get the key. Okay, true. Really? Okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty clever. That's kind of clever, but yet I have no idea how she did that. Oh. Unsavory character. And I see we have to carry this thing around. I don't think he'll let us go without a freaking warning, Come so... To see the boss? Down the hall. If I were you, I'd keep my nose out of other folks' affairs. Boss? Someone called Boss interests me. And so does the person who said it. Hmm. I don't trust him. I got a feeling he has something to do with the murder. Okay, his room... Uh, didn't the headmaster say that his room is 109? So I think we can... Why bother a key? When there's a window to reach. Two desks are locked. I'm looking at the blackboard right now. Two decks are, desks are locked. If you can see how to open them, we'll continue our sharp little game. Tabram? A Marty Tabram died of stab wounds in Cicero on April 7th. The case wasn't connected to Andrew Chapman's because one was female, the other male. Coincidence? Two victims from the 19th century died on the same days as two victims in the present with the same last names. The name of the victim by the fence may confirm my suspicions. In the early morning hours of 7 April, the body of Martha Thabram was found brutally murdered. Mortuary assistant Robert Mann told the police that the wounds were inflicted by a long, extremely sharp weapon. The mortuary assistant Robert Mann is the same man I met in the school foyer. I see possibilities that would bring a mortuary assistant together with a headmaster interested in anatomy. Okay. We have a lot of things to do here, but first, guys, hit an object scene. Okay. Druid enjoys a game that requires patience and pits one batsman against a full team. Okay. Law book. A man who studied the law will be versed in how to circumvent it. True. He, he, would, he would have learned to just throw, like, do loopholes or, like, jump across the fences and stuff. Like, do stuff that can be, like, technically it's not against the law, but it's actually against the law kind of thing. Okay, I see chloroform, I see string. Periodic table. A note. Am I seeing music note here? Or are we seeing a paper note? Okay, I see. Okay, let's see over here. Collection of roads. Okay, globe could be a circle map. A collection of roads would be a map. London with the East End neighborhood detailed out. Druid knows his way around. Okay, a tadpole adult will be a frog. I'm looking for frogs. Yep. Okay. Whoa. Perfume. A gift not given. Or was it returned? This is expensive. Druid has money. Sure. I mean, he doesn't need to steal. He has money. Look at this. This bottle... It seems like this bottle is bought by someone who could be wealthy. Killing jar. Okay, now the notes. Hmm.
If anyone sees a note as well, let me know. Oh, there we go. There's a note. A doctor has committed his mother for depression and paranoid delusions. Druid keeps this note near him. Does the diagnosis run in the family? Hmm. Possible. Okay, we have a diamond here. Okay. We found a diamond. I mean, before we go back to the mortuary assistant, um, apparently two deaths are locked. If we can see how to open them, we continue our sharp little game. Okay. Drew looked up, locked up his wooden heart, and apparently we can do something. We have four steps. We have eraser. Oh. Said the spider to the fly. I just noticed it just pierced the freaking like this. This scalpel just pierced through the bug. Dang. The JP mark on these shoes tells me the Druid was a customer of bootmaker John Pizer. I wonder where these shoes have been. This heel is rigged. It'll take some leverage to pry it off. Uh, scalpel? No. Montague, John Druid Headmaster. And apparently we have something to see here. Students and their pranks. We have two erasers. Interesting character, John Druitt. Even in his chosen portrait, he looks depressed. Judging by his classroom, he has a background in anatomy, and there's no disguising that mustache. Good point. Yeah. He has a mustache, which actually kind of fits the mustache hairs. Okay. Oh, and I see we have a door open here. Okay. Let's do what this guy wants us to do, although we have- I don't think we have any choice whatsoever. Let's- I guess let's do this. One way to make chalk invisible. Invis uh, First, I think we can actually... Let's see what I can do this. John Pizer is interesting me again as a suspect. If he had shine stations around the city, he knew the area and its people very well. This one was in proximity to the first victim. We're not ruling out any suspects just yet. Anyone can be a suspect. Okay. Let's... Do this, guys. Let's brush off the dust. Okay. The killer device a way to lock two of the desks. Sequence of arrow movements can get the color arrows. Okay. Yeah, okay. Are you invisible to people of 1888? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, okay, let me see. Okay, we have to be very careful about this. Um... Okay. 
Okay. Yep, okay, I just screwed myself up. I just screwed myself up. <laughs> yeah, th this puzzle can be very tricky. Yeah, okay. I just I just um I just screwed myself again. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be so complicated. Um Yeah, it can look pretty hard if you don't know how the puzzle works. Which is what I'm worried about. Yeah, this is- yeah, you can get you get pretty hard. Okay. I know how to get the green down, I just need to know how to get the blue one. Okay, let's get the green one out. Thank God. Of course. The desks are arranged. 
most like September 1888, and two days have importance, the 8th and the 30th. Okay, so the 8th and the 30th, okay. And on September 8th, 1888, Annie Chapman was the victim. This is actually sending, like, chills around my spine right now. Like, it's sending literal chills on my spine. Because this actually happened. And I see we have something hidden in the apple. A locket chain. We can give her a locket and back. On September 30th, the killer promises to strike again. A mirror. A locket chain in the mirror. In the mirror. Okay. One thing we have to do right now is to um, cut the glass. Cut the glass. A small piece of evidence needs to be examined. Okay. Another one we need to see is this one. The, this ball set right here. Okay. We only have cold water. Okay. You have TV. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, Bill. Though I'm really, really sorry, guys. Um, yeah, my dad's watching TV at the back. I really can't stop him from watching any TV. I'm really sorry. Okay, we have a mirror, though. A mirror. Okay. He locked up it. We still can find a way to unlock it. Is there a way to unlock it? We have a mirror though. Okay. Now she needs to lock it. Okay. Okay, I wonder if there's something new here. Dad catches- <laughs> Bill though, no one yells at my dad like that, okay? He's still- he's still my dad, okay? Okay. Okay, Bill though. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really, really sorry for those who are coming in and watching. I'm really sorry. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you can actually use the journal, guys, if you guys are uh, really like stuck on like where to go. The mirror. The mirror is peeking my um. I mean, we can try to get the faucet. Yep. I saw a robot man in the background. I just saw it. Okay, but since we can actually pull out the nails... Can we do this? Yep. Okay. There's some this we still need the mirror.
search this classroom for clues. Um, I have a mirror though. Sorry guys, I sometimes can get really, um, yeah, sometimes I can get really lost. <laughs> The meat picks my attention. And I don't want to use the freaking like, um, yeah, there's definitely not lucky for the chain. a mirror for should I use a hint <laughs> I don't want to use a hint, bro. I'm curious about these overcoats, but I can't just rifle. I'm curious about these over. Okay, uh, okay, I'm worried about the. I worry more about the mirror. I still have that mirror with me. What am I use it for? Which was worse in the late 1800s, the fog or the smog? Oof. Those sound incredibly awful. Okay, um... I have some meat though. Besides these, do we have anything that we need to know? Any any windows or whatever? No hints. Okay, so a uh, builder, what do you suggest we do? <laughs> Mirror. I'm, I'm, I need. To, I need to know what the mirror. How the mirror works. I forgot how the mirror works. Frick. Use brain power. Um. Okay. I can try. I can try. So I'm, I'm taking two. Two like um. Too slow on this. Sometimes I may forget what to do. I'm really sorry. I'm curious about these overcoats, but I can't.
Yeah, I can't do it with her. With her present. Hello, Angie. Hello, guys. Hello, Angie. Didn't the code of the first pocket light up? Um. Good lord. Hello, Angie. Hi, Sparktic. Uh, okay, if anyone has any idea on what I can do right now. Oh, wait, what? What am I finding? What am I trying to find? A multi that needs to be examined. What am I supposed to examine? Mate? I'm curious about these over. Oh. Uh, thank you, Bella, for for actually telling me. Thank you so much. I forgot. Okay. Hey, Angie. Welcome. Welcome, Angie. Um, and also, welcome back, Sparktic. Uh, Angie, I've seen you... I don't think I've seen you for a while. How have you been? Okay. Okay, let's melt this and... Okay. Any room key? Oh, perfect! Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect, we can finally go in. We can go in. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what a daringer is. Iron, pitcher. I know what a pitcher is. It's a jar, isn't it? Um, okay, cup, umbrella. Oak leaves, matches. Oh, oh, I, I oh, it's a, it's a scarf. And matches, oak leaves, um, hat, iron, belt, wisp broom. Tweezers. I think I see what a whisper looks like. Yep. Um, that's a dare ringer. Okay. Um, let me uh, let me check Google. You know, there's such thing as a Google. I need to check Google on what a dare ringer is. Let me let me take a look. What is this? It's a small handgun. There is neither a revolver or in. It's so basically it's a it's a pistol. Okay, it's a pistol. Is this a? Is this it? Yep. And I see we have a locket portrait to find. Is this one? The locket portrait is school headmaster Montague John Druitt. Perhaps the women were secret rivals and public friends. Hmm. I mean, it's possible. It could be. Yeah, I would have to do a chore. Be right back. Okay, Bella, it's okay. And you, seriously, it's been it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Annie picked up the killer's coins before the authorities could discover them, and she removed Druid's picture from the locket because she believed he could have been the killer. Okay, lock the portrait. Well, at least we got her locket back. Oh, it's only the portrait. Okay, uh, just check it where there's anything we can find in the, um, the room. I think it may be something. The lock cabinet from the past was already checked out. Okay. But just double checking again to see where there's anything I need to take. I said the meat from earlier. I'm curious about these overcoats. 
I'm curious about these over. Okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. I'm curious about these over. Okay. I'm not gonna say about the meat though. What am I supposed to do with this meat? Please don't read it the wrong way, please. <laughs> We still need the key. She still needs a locket to apparently hold the portrait in place. Okay. It's still impossible to kind of like open this. Interesting character, John Druitt. Okay, now we need to find the locket. Apparently. Think of the unrecoverable evidence that washes away every day. Oh. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah, I'm really sorry that I'm making everyone bored. I'm really, really sorry. It's that Bildo doesn't agree for hints, so yeah, I can't do anything about that. time maybe I should use a hint. Uh, what do you guys say? Should I use a hint? Just make sure I didn't miss anything here. Maybe I missed something, I just didn't know. Okay, let me go check something, guys. Wait a minute. I don't want to freaking use a hint, you know. Because I know that um, apparently Bildo doesn't want me to, so yeah. And plus, I think it's a good way to challenge myself. Okay. Okay, just be right back, guys. Uh, let me check something.
Because I think I'm definitely missing something. Okay. Okay, I definitely I definitely missed something. Um Thank you Google for actually letting me know. I I, I did I definitely missed something. I definitely missed something. Okay. Yep, I missed that one. <laughs> no wonder I thought I was missing something. I definitely missed something. Okay, can I do it for the shoe? Yep. Okay, wow. This person is putting a key in his shoe. That's interesting. That's cool. Okay. Next to your heart is a lovely place for a locket, boss. And I see we have a thread. Okay, perfect. We need that as evidence. Okay, the evidence should be right around here. Right here. The charcoal gray thread is woolen, and that discoloration is unmistakably blood. Were the slide and thread mistakes by the killer, or convenient plants? I'm going to follow the evidence and look for a charcoal gray wool coat. Okay, charcoal gray wool coat. Mr. Robert Mann, mortuary assistant, wearing a woolen charcoal gray coat fashion statement. And we compare with the thread. Good to see you again this evening, Mr. Mann. Thank you for your assistance in directing me to Headmaster Druid. And I see we took the locket from him. Robert Mann became the strongest suspect, but is he a careless killer or a guy being set up? If the blood on his coat belongs to the victim, it could be murder or just an accident of his occupation. Or it could be an underling, I mean, yeah. Either an underling, accomplice, or the mastermind themselves. Okay, now, let's give her locket back. Hopefully she can rest in peace. And everybody, we have a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, this puzzle should be pretty easy if you know how it works. Yeah. Just to know, guys, uh, some of the stuff will not move. Yeah, as you can see. So basically, this, uh, you can actually just swap around and yeah. The victim who died on August 31st Whoa. is Polly Nichols. Her murder came before Annie Chapman and after Martha Tabra. Polly Nichols. Okay, I'll note that name down. And now we're in Chicago Zero, September 30th. Marty Tabram and Andrew Chapman fit a serial killer's last name pattern. Not Weaver. This accident wasn't meant to kill me. I have to find someone named Nichols who died on September 8th. Okay, I'm going to... I'm just going to um, flip this open and see whether anyone actually like wants to read it. And I will... Okay. Oof. This is no mere accident, I can tell you that. I don't think that's a, this is any mere accident. Okay. Sandwiches, caffeine, and sunflower seeds. Look like someone was on a stakeout. Could be an officer. I mean, look at the equipment here. Must be an officer.
Kelly, Jimmy Kelly's auto body and impound lot. Jimmy Kelly. Well, I feel like we're gonna need it, need it soon. It should be pretty useful. Undercover officer missing since August 31st, the same day Polly Nichols was murdered. Oh no. Okay, car keys. Paul Nichols. The same surname. Oh no. Got the feeling something went really wrong. I'm looking for the fingerprint, the fingerprint brush. Oh, there you go. And the police gun. This 40 caliber is standard issue to the Chicago police force. I found the car of missing undercover officer Paul Nichols. He was missing on the same day that Polly Nichols was murdered. I fear the present day Nichols met with a similar fate. I need to find him. Okay. We have places to explore over here. We have our own- I see we have our own car. Okay, let's bring our phone with us. The computer will get immediate feedback from a specialist when data needs to be analyzed. Okay. So I think we have to come back here a little bit later. Okay. Jimmy Kelly's body shop, entrance for the city compound. The security camera needs to be made less secure. I don't like being in the spotlight. Something has to be done about that camera. Okay, um... We can't do that. We can't just put a rag over here. The story isn't worth looking at. Um... Okay. The soil could be dangerous if we left here. Get some oil. Fan belt. Can we do this? Okay. Check out Marley didn't have this many chains. The store isn't worth looking at. Okay. Um, okay. We definitely need to get up there somehow. Can we take anything else? Okay. The crime rate is high in this part of town. Oh. Okay. Finally, we got. Okay. Finally found a way in. Yeah, I gotta be careful with the controls. Some some of the controls are not as Yeah. Are very different from like what happened in present. Okay. Took a hammer. Control lever. Apparently this apparently this compound is a dog. Oh the floor. There's a dog. I was wondering where it went. Go. 
Go eat your meat. Once again, don't read into that, please. Held down by a conventional lock, no cameras, and violent crime in the neighborhood is commonplace. Oof. Okay, we have a car handle. Okay. I don't recognize these symbols. They're not gang signs. I, I need someone else to take a look. Okay, camera. Cook County, Illinois resident. Okay. What could be buried there? And I noticed there's somewhere we can go. Here. This door is rusted and stuck shut. It needs to be opened. Oily rag? Yep. Okay. Control is missing. Uh, control labor. The crime must be started. The keyhole has pick marks. I see where the paintbrush. Um, the crane will operate unless the engine is running and all the controls are in place. We still need the key, I think. Well, conventional loss can be destroyed. Okay. Weaver. The broken key is in the lock. Some leverage is needed to turn it. Um, okay, we don't have flyers. A car is needed for inspection. The owner is a reputable. Parts are being stripped off the bars. Cars for the black market. Oh, good god. And I see we're here in the, the security office. Okay, we have this, so. The Kelly East has slash. detailed knowledge of the infamous East End Slasher. The list of suspects compiled by historians includes a man named James Kelly. Is Jimmy Kelly the copycat killer? Or is he just a man who stumbled upon a curious fact from the past? I'm going to get an ebook copy and learn more. Kelly has is Jimmy Kelly the copycat killer? Okay, we have a bunch of boy rapper, and that's a good question. Did he just stumble upon a history or was he interested for a reason? Okay. Weaver. Jimmy Kelly fences himself in a hunter. Does his prey ever extend to man? Okay, we also have um, fishing lures as well. And we have a passcode. Okay. South slot, September 30th. Number 4 wrapper. A hard copy of the passcode can probably be found somewhere in the garage or the impound lot. Okay, first I think we can do this. The handle is missing. These patterns may be significant. Can't rely on memory. Now let's take a photo. Okay. Paintbrush, foil wrapper, and we have yep, we have something to do here. Okay. Just checking. Okay. This is not this is not 1888 anymore. This is um, present day 2011, September 30th. Okay, we found apparently we found um, basically an officer who was actually killed. Apparently, I think we found someone called Paul Nichols, um, who is the same surname as the victim in 1888. So, yeah, this is an interesting fact to learn. Okay, nail clippers. Uh, 
Okay, so basically we found this impound. Uh, in case you missed it, we found this impound and we're here to do this. Okay, nail clippers. Okay, we have fishing lure, we have camera phone. We have a foil wrapper. Um, okay, camera phone. A paintbrush. Okay, let's pedal to the metal. I think we have everything we need. No key yet. Okay, now we, we need nail clippers. We have a foil wrapper, fishing gears, camera phone. This place is like a fortress. Anyone approaching will be detected. I'm sure there's something I missed. Oh, there we go. That's the thing we missed. Here we were. The card is deliberately filled. Murder days and ages of the victims. The evidence is telling me that Paul Nichols is dead. Got the feeling that is what happened to him. Security cameras would show the killer if Paul Nichols was murdered on August 31st. Nichols, heads you live, tails you die. Paul Nichols is dead. 8.30 sharp. No one on this case dies that early in the evening. Chapman died on the 8th. The killer plans to use their sharp blade again on September 8th and 30th. The killer has the knowledge to manipulate security systems. Kelly is an obvious suspect. Okay, I'm taking this camera. We need this, I think. We definitely need that. Okay, do we need to email this back to the... Yeah, we need to email. Samantha. Any idea what these symbols are and what they mean? Best, Angelica. To say that I'm surprised to hear from you is an understatement. I'm only getting interference on your end. So I'm going for a cross road. Please remain that you're receiving this message. This will be at Odo Middle School. The symbols are one forty four zero one. The two on the left are the numbers seven and thirty one. The third symbol is rare. Something like blood rejuvenation. I can't be sure about the two that are scratched out. Zero twelve one nine zero three three. A copycat killer that dabbles in ancient Sumerian taste. This implies someone highly educated in a specialized, almost obsessive academic subject. If the killer has the same skills as a suspect in the past, I would rule out bootmaker John Kaiser. Headmaster Druitt looks more suspicious, but Robert Mann had access to his library. So anyone with a high ac academic like role can be able to do this. Oh. This is still very... Yeah. This is still pretty disturbing. Checking to see where did I miss anything here. A 
car is needed for inspection. Do we have the key? The keyhole has pick marks. Can we use a fishing there? Yep. Oh wow. Hmm. Is it late for you, Sophia? Um, it's one a.m. Don't worry. I got time. And here we go. Okay, this one. Uh, find the sequence in order. Okay. Yeah, I hate this puzzle sometimes. Basically, guys, uh, how this puzzle works is that you have to click all these in order. One, two, three, four, five. Click all of these in order. Good freaking lord. Okay. Okay, the order can be random, I think. Yeah, the, I think the order can be a bit random, so you may want to check every time you do this. Okay, I'm trying to see which one is better. Like a better way to start. Okay. Unless I suspect it, it's not gonna be easy. Wow, okay. Um this puzzle is harder than I thought. Okay. Okay, oh if you start with the one on the fourth row. Thank you, Bildo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bildo. This is the car I want. Okay, so apparently we, yeah, the ending. I think there are many combinations, so you may want to check every time you play this. Oh look, I got an extra pencil. That's cool. Okay, we need the car, and we're going down there. Never trust what a calculating killer would do to a car they moved. It needs to be inspected. True. Okay. A lot of things you don't want to search can be stored in the trunk. 
I need the key. Whoa. Okay. I have some more for wrapper. I think we need that. Uh, guys, I'll be right back. Uh, I need to go do something quick, okay? Sorry. I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, I need to take a second device to monitor what was going on in my uh, stream. Okay, I'm back. Give me a second guys. Give me a second. And by the way guys, I think we came to the very best part of this entire game, I think. Yeah, we're actually going close to the climax. Okay, let me see. Let me double check everything. I hope everything is going well with my second device. Okay. Here we go. Okay, my second device is ready and let's get started. This bomb could blow a hole in the wall. Oh my god, that's a bomb in here. <laughs> wow, they're murdering us with bombs here this time. Oh that's that's um that's not good. Two pairs of wire need to be braced to stop this bomb. Photographic evidence is needed for each pair. Okay, uh seven. 31 Um, I think the next one is 8 and 30 Okay And 8 and 30 These wires look familiar They're laid out like the Chicago train lines 7, 31, and 8 are days when Tabram, Nichols, and Chapman died. Their bodies were located near those spots in the city. Now I know the vicinity where the killer will prowl for a victim today. September 30th. If I'm not too late... Whoa. Okay, now we need to... Okay, we need to do this, I guess. Wow, okay, there's, it's still kind of messy here. Um, okay, here. Car key Marjo. Uh, Roblox de devs. I can't think of a game idea. Ange Angelica devs. Car key Marjo. 
Technically, this is in 2011. I'm not sure what was going on in their heads. Um, I'm not sure what kind of like uh, let them think of. Oh, guys, it's car key mahjong. Let's let the viewers suffer. <laughs> the car key mahjong here. And we got the key. And we need to investigate a truck anyway. Oh. An undercover officer deliberately put under the covers by a madman. Oh, good lord. I'm guessing that's Paul Nichols, I presume? He was killed the same way as the other victims. Some shreds of clothes gone, ring mark on the finger, but no ring. We've got something to take. Today is the 30th. A killer is repeating the history of London's slasher from 1888. In Kelly's book, there were two victims on the 30th. I know the vicinity of the attacks. I have a train to catch. Of course, guys, but first, uh, a big salute to uh, Paul Nichols. Unfortunately, we had to... We found his, um... I think we found his body. Yeah. Just a moment of silence. Okay, yeah. It's always unfortunate when we find this kind of things happening in like, yeah. Especially in games like these. Near the Cicero L train station at 12.33 a.m. We don't have a lot of time to catch him. That brings everyone at the station up to speed on the fate of Paul Nichols and the pattern of the Cicero slasher. So she informed everyone in the um, department. That's great. And the ebook is here. Martha Tavram, who died on August 7th, is only in the history books as a possible victim. But this is the name that started the series in the East End and Cicero. Tavram's murder establishes a serial pattern. Murders are in numerical order at the beginning of the month, and then there is another murder on the last day of the month. Killings continued through November 9th and then stopped. The brutal East End slasher got away. If I can solve the case from 1888, I will have my copycat in the present. The trick is getting there first. So we have to be one step, at least a few steps ahead from the killer. Two people died on this date. The first will be in less than an hour. There are several listings for Stride in the neighborhood, but none for Eddowes or any variant of that last name. I've sent out a bulletin to cover the Strides, but I'll take Beth's Stride. She has a store and residence just a train stop away. Okay, so that's our next destination. Okay. Usually there are pieces missing. This time, I'm given one. The killer wants to play. Someone wants me to take the train. Okay, I'll take the train. Okay, so apparently we have fabric pieces to collect now. We have fabric pieces, and these I think around thirty pieces total. <sighs> okay. Everyone, welcome to the Cicero L train station. Everybody. The killer left me a message. Nice to know I'm going after the right stride. What else is in there? The killer left me a message. Nice to know I'm going after the right stride. What else is in there? The glass is pretty thick. Okay. Okay, we have a private piece over here. Something needs to be jammed into his mouth top to free the spike rod. <laughs> now nah, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Everyone must come to the turnstile. That means we need a ticket. And I see we have picked up a piece here. We have an iron pipe. Okay, catalog. 30 bits and pieces for you to find, boss. Okay. 30. Oh, 30. 30 pieces each for each date. Oh, this person is tricky. All right. Ticket pass. Okay. We have 30 pieces in order to um, do this, I guess. Okay. This lane needs to be pried off. 
Okay, yes. By the way, yes. The search for the... The search for the fabric pieces also extends to the train. So, yes. We have to find a lot of stuff for the train. Here we go. Okay, remind me to come back here. I think we need... Yeah, we need to come back here later. Okay. A lot of hiding place places in this train, guys. So, follow my lead and I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's see whether we can speedrun the, the finding. Okay, eyeglass stem and a pen. And I see another dream weaver. Oh my god, this that train that train thing. Oh my god, the line the color lines remind me of my uh, local home country train train system. But no, uh, we, we do have um we do have a line that is shaped like a circle, but yeah. I mean at least it's a half circle or like a three quarter circle. Yeah. It circles downtown, so yeah. Umbrella spoon. A umbrella. What kind of stuff do we use here? Do we use anything that's bendy? Okay. Okay, second train. Congratulations, you unlocked unlimited object, hit object mode, and yes, by the way guys, we can actually find all 70 badges. Let's do this guys. Emergency cord, you can stop the floor if it's reached. Okay, and apparently we need to find a way to walk across. It's um, it's electrocuted. Good lord, okay. We have a pen, we have a spoon, we have an eyeglass still. The roof glass is too high to reach. Not for long. Sim Reaper, a spoon. How to get out of this train? Okay. I have a spike rod. I'm not sure where that baseball bat can actually like pry the thing. No, everything should be found in there. Okay, I got 15 pieces now. We got 15 more pieces to go. We're halfway there. Okay, um, let's see. Baseball bats. We still have a pen. Oh, we can actually do that. Dang, nice. Frank, I almost shrugged it away. Whoops. <laughs> okay, shrimp fork. Okay. 
But uh, yes, it can get complicated if you um if you actually like yeah, it can get complicated if you don't remember where you went and yeah. So I suggest you guys may need to be really careful. Like just go on one zone and just go up the other. Don't com try not to confuse yourselves. It'll be even worse. I speak from experience. Okay. Um. Here we go. Just search everywhere, basically. Keychain light, mini fan, pen. And yes, it extends all the way to the end. Okay. Two coins for the final edition. Oh, I think I see something. Something's inside this poster. Price slash, yeah, that actually caught my eye. Just checking, just checking. Oh my god, I'm selling a coin from this guy. I hope, I hope, um, he doesn't mind us boring, boring it. It's too dangerous to grab a score without any, um, to grab a score of fabric piece on electric cables. <laughs> You're talking as if I played this. My brain isn't big. You can't handle the games you play. <laughs> no, though, everyone can play this game. I'm sure that Phil, Phil has in games will seriously agree with me on that. We actually discussed about like the people, the different people who are like to play this game. I wasn't as big brain as now. It's only because I played this before that I actually eventually got the experience. Really, you you can do this, man. You can do this too. You can definitely do this. It just comes with experience, that's all. It's too deep to... Spike Rod. Okay, we have seven more. To find. That's, um... That's great, I guess. This is a map of London's East End. It looks similar to the section of town where the current murders are taking place. No wonder the killer chose Chicago Cicero to prowl. Interesting. So apparently this person either changed maps or... Keychain light. She spawned at 1, but is that when she really died? The door is broken because the hinge is split. Something's needed. Pen. Seriously, Bill though. Bill will agree with me if he is here right now. Different audiences can play this ki these kinds of games. Don't worry about it, don't worry. I only am good at this because I played this before. This is just a revisit stream. Don't worry about it, man. Don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, two points. So there's a John Druitt within this time period who the police like for the murders. A doctor skilled with knives. Dr. John Druid question in Cicero's slings. It doesn't feel right. This guy is a family man and not a loner. True. Okay. So I think we're open here. Pretty beat up. Probably belongs to a street musician. Ooh, cool. I always want to play the learn how to play guitar and a violin. I think those are pretty cool instruments themselves. Not because someone forced me to work. I kind of want to learn it. Wait, is that not a badge under that chair? Which chair? Which chair, Bello? No, it's. I don't think. I don't think that's um. That's the badge. No, sorry. Okay. Um. Find the fabric thirty thirty five pieces and I'll let you in the control room. Deal. All 35 pieces I needed to enter the control room. Cool. Trying to see whether we miss anything. I think we might miss something here. Checking all pieces again.
The one you're looking for under the lamp, under the piece of paper. What? Which one? The lamp. Uh, which lamp builder? You have to be specific. There's a lot of lamps here. <laughs> And there are a lot of trains here. You may want to. You may want to be specific. A little, you had a lamp in your hand. Oh, you mean the? Okay, uh, I'm going to go back check it out. Okay, first uh, let me check this area to see where there's anything we missed. Okay, just 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 double checking this area. No, I don't believe I don't believe that the um, I I think I collect all the pieces here. I just want to double check and make sure. Okay. Um. Something tells me I missed somewhere. I got mistaken, but I thought I saw a starship on a piece of paper. Um, okay, I think I might have mistaken it. Wait. Oh! Found it! I have all 30 fabric pieces. It just turned into my job to get this train to the next stop and check on Beth's stride. I hope we're not too late, to be honest here. I hope we're not too late. Oh, freak. Okay, this is actually an achievement. I didn't get it, but apparently you can do it in one try. If you build it anytime you want to do one try, just let me know. <laughs> I can provide you the game title if you want. Yeah, you can actually do this in one try. I actually did it in one try. Unfortunately, I think I. Yeah. To get off this train in a hurry. I think I actually um yeah I went to <laughs> I freaking like I didn't get it. Frick. Okay. Oh. A lifeless mannequin. Is the killer trying to tell me that Stride is lifeless, or is the message that there is something fake about this next victim?
a mannequin can mean many things actually it can mean because mannequin can mean like a fake person so I'm guessing it's more on something fake about the next victim I don't think because you know a killer who is as clever as a current killer yeah I don't think it'll be that simple as to give you an obvious message too much traffic in an Eddie's hour to walk down the middle of the street okay strides vintage clothing and oh welcome everyone to those people who just came in the stream welcome everyone 25 things okay needle and thread okay um i mean shoes socks and shoes i think no you need a matching pair you need to be that obvious okay um if i see yawn i think of needles it could be knitting needles that i'm looking for violin with a bow Okay. Masks. A wolf. Okay. Horseshoe of a horse. Uh, pin. A needle. Oh, we need a needle. We need a pin cushion here. Okay. Uh, socks and shoes. Uh, ballet, ballet shoes and ballet. Uh, dress or tutu um okay let's see. ring hair and hairbrush hats and a bonnet gloves um collar collar and Oh, oh, do wait, what? Those are lace? I think that's lace. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think that's lace, though. Um, earrings. I'm looking for the rings, though. Okay, cosmetics. Nail polish. Purse and coins. I think that's a glass case. Glasses case. I see a cat bill though. I think you'll like it. Maybe the mannequin's just on a break. Okay, don't judge her. Oh, I found a psych duck. A cat again. Yes, build a look. It's a cat. It's a cat bill though. It's a cat. Okay, of course, nail polish and nail cup, nail polish lid. I'm not sure about this. I think those are sewing, sewing materials. Okay, flower and flower. Yeah, I think this is a. Oh my god, back when MP3s were still a new thing. Oh my god, I remember those days. Yeah, back when MP3s were still a new thing. <laughs> I remember that so well. I grew, I grew up with Nokia and Sony Ericsson. Those were the days. Okay, um, tape measure. Tape measure. Okay. Yan doesn't go with this though. Yeah, not a cosmetic. Ah, yes, yeah, shoe, shoelace. Oh, that's the, oh, that's, oh, they're talking about the shoe, oh, the shoelace. Oh, okay. A uh, sword? Oh my god, the cat. The cat and the yarn. Oh. Okay. Sword sheath. Buttons? Yep.
Hmm. What am I supposed to be looking for? Embroidery spool. Okay. Okay, we have an embroidery spool, I see. Okay. I think we're gonna find a few here. You put them things together, I take them apart, boss. Looks like we're not alone here. Six spools. A lifeless mannequin. Is the killer trying to tell me that Stride is lifeless, or is the message that there is something fake about this next victim? Yeah, just just checking, just checking, just checking. The second does anything need to be done? I don't think so. Okay. We have a pin cushion. Fabric. Pins. Oh, good lord. Here we go. Okay. Okay, I think we can start with the colors and stuff. At least it's the easiest, like the easiest way to um start. Um, no, that doesn't look like that. It's more like a dress piece. Okay, let's start the color part. Okay, um, over here. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, that's a sleeve. Yeah, that was like a sleeve. Around here? Here. We got a dress. And we got the last embroidery spool. Okay. Let's see what this, um, this person has a soul for us. Stride, I presume. Elizabeth Stride, but the MO is wrong. 
The smells of the killer are different, and there is only one wound. I can feel the blade. It's a different murder weapon. History got this murder wrong. Elizabeth Stride was killed by someone else. I am looking for a methodical killer who targets one victim on specific days. Tonight's real target is Catherine Eddowes. Okay, so we have everything we need. We need to find, of course... We have to find someone called Eddowes. Okay. Miter Square. It's the body of Catherine Eddowes. As the killer hinted, she died earlier than history told us. I can't read her thoughts in the commotion. Oh. We couldn't stop the murder. The wounds were made by the same killer, but there are more of them. The brutality is showing more arrogance. Only the ring was removed, probably as a trophy. There are scents on the killer I can't identify. Not quite medicinal. Edward Doe's. Ed Doe's. Edos. <sighs> Moment of silence once again, guys, for Edward Doe's. Okay, a moment of silence, guys, before we move on. books say that Mary Jane Kelly was the final victim of the East End Slasher. Supposedly the killing stopped after her. This could be my last chance. Okay, we need the name. Yes, we need these names. And we need the phone. Catherine Eddowes was number 16? That means there were 12 murders before the killer set up shop on the East End. Dang. Who's Drake? The murders that took place in London's East End and now in Cicero are subsets of longer killing sprees. Drake was never listed by slasher experts. Okay. Mary Jane Kelly's apartment, November 9th. The killer knows all the listings for Kelly in this city can't be protected even with the aid of neighborhood watch groups. Mary Jane Kelly was the last victim of the East End Slasher of 1888. Staking out the apartment of the Mary Jane Kelly of my time is the most logical place for me to be. Even if this Kelly isn't the target, the killer knows this is where I would set up camp. Sure. I mean, yeah, that's the most logical approach I think I would go as well break the glass okay check and see if there are any dream weavers here no not really no nope okay Nichols I see the name The suspect either to cue them or toss it here. Well, I own the key now. I'm not pursuing someone who flew over that fence. This barrel can be moved around and set up directly under that fire escape. Okay, let's do this. Yep, this is um this is gonna be a real trouble. Another achievement guys is to do it I think in less than eleven moves. I may have to check that out. 
But yeah, how the frick did they do that? <laughs> how did they do that? I'm not that big brain, by the way. Okay. Up, oh, I see a name here. Hello, Zella Creations. Hello there. Welcome to um, Angelical Weaver. Catch me when you can. I'm uploading on YouTube later. Be sure, guys, to check out my YouTube as well down in the in my description as well. I'll be uploading to those people, for those people who may have missed. Yeah. Follow me on Twitch, guys. Subscribe to me on YouTube. I do a lot of stuff on YouTube as well. Okay. Um, seems to be abandoned. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, look what we have here, guys. Okay, I see it as a name we need to take note of. Okay, guys, uh, apparently, for those people who just missed uh, what happened in the stream, um, apparently, some things happened. Um, this dude, apparently, um, this person is investigating a series of murders, and apparently, they found out that it was they were actually like a copycat killer who was actually copying the moves um, made by the London East End Slasher. Yeah, and she's a psychic detective as well. She has many abilities, such as going back in time. Yeah, she has a lot of abilities. So she's pretty powerful. Solemn plays skull. A pigeon is someone who is easily deceived. I hope the killer doesn't think I'm that gullible. The string needs to be broken. It is on the prison movie trap. Thank you. Shepherd. The door can be opened from the inside. Just checking, just checking any ladders or whatever I have to go and take. I don't mind carrying ladders. Okay. Like a putter. Okay, hit an object gaming. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay, we can find a cooler here. Infant to a lily, lily ball, some uh, thorny plants. Uh, my first thought would be a cactus. Yeah, welcome to stream, Zella. Hi, hi. <laughs> Zella, once again, welcome to the stream. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, rose bush could be, yeah, it could be thorny, thorny too. Okay. Pink can. Okay, now I have to find the rest of them. They're visible. Okay. Taking a good look. Okay, oh. If MJK is Mary Jane Kelly, she's highly vulnerable up there. Trellis. Insect collection. Herbal remedy. Okay, uh, work boots. Portable heater. Wish broom. I know what a wish broom is, um, yeah. It's the herbal remedy I'm a bit worried about because, oh, there we go. This is the same snake oil herbal remedy that I found in Annie Chapman's room in 1888. Okay, now we're to find a screen door. And we found it. Okay, now we got a screen door. It's time to bridge. I think we can bridge. Can we bridge this? Yep. Oh, wow. That's some... Um, that's a very delicate arrangement I see over here. What if it fall? <laughs> oh. Like, I have to be bridged in order to go to the next platform. Uh, okay. Oh, 
good. Let's use the chairs. Oh my god, it's very dark here. The floodlights are out and the wire is cut. Good god. Okay, chair. Something is needed to loosen the nut nutcracker. Okay. Handlebars. And we got another one of these. Oh, okay, here we go again. Okay, um, butt zapper, gardening head, killing jar. Pigeon. 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 I see a book. Oh, nice. Full birds. Um, step leather, garden hose. Raincoat, weather vane. I thought I saw the weather vane. Yep. Uh, step leather. There we go. Car key. Okay, car key. <coughs> Sorry. Unless the car isn't here. Could be somewhere else. my head handlebars and car key handlebars how do I get there Okay, um, let me, let me think, let me think. I definitely missed something again, didn't I? Oh, this is getting to be a very, very annoying habit that I'm having. I definitely missed something. There we go. Yeah, I knew I missed something. Okay. Somebody just left a cloth there. It's too cold for in, in, in Chicago for an air conditioner to be on. Okay. Let's zip line. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, woman! Don't fall, okay? Okay.
And uh, I see we're back at where we started. We need at least 16 names, right? Okay. The hunt is on, I guess. The live show hidden messages before. Maybe it will again. It's too high to reach without some help. And we're back at Andrew Chapman's house somewhere. I see we have more items here. Oh, good lord. Ah, your name is there. The killer is still playing cat and mouse with me. I must be the last victim, not Kelly. There has to be 20 names to collect. Oh. Good lord. So the chase is on. The chase is really on this time. And I see we have um, a new zone here. This again? Okay. Looking for any possible moves to do? Yeah, this is the annoying part. Okay. Okay, I need to move it somehow. Okay, found it. Found a way. There's a security system on the gate. It can only be open for code. Needs to be completely revealed. Um, uh, grill brush. Okay, I'm taking that with me, and I'm taking a phone. Stuck. No. Okay. Okay, we're back here again. We got a ladder. Whoa. Whoa, what happened here? Okay, hunting cap. Hmm, <laughs> Builder is doing a barrel roll. Yay. <laughs> barrel roll time, guys. <laughs> Switchblade. And we need a wrench. Okay, next name. And 
Okay, we're back at this dishwasher again. I see we have a new thing. We have oil. The street light. I wonder if we can do something with the street light. Let me uh, let's see. It's still stuck. All of what? <laughs> Bildo. Bildo, you have- you have like graffiti in your room, Bildo? <laughs> this looks temporary recently. Oh yes, good idea. Use a- use a rock. Zero, one, two, seven. Okay, I'm guessing that's a code. The, f the fiend leave this- left the seat up permanently. Day. This water valve is corroded. You took more than one hand to get it budged. Okay. I guess there's a name here. Oh my goodness, why? Why is my name here? My name is here, guys. <laughs> I'm going oh no, don't tell me this is gonna be something this is gonna be a start of something bad. No. No. If she, the, if the person, if he or she there comes, in, I will take a freaking switchblade, and I'll go and, <laughs> I'll go and go and attack. You know, I want to survive. Builder, you have creepy. You have very creepy um graffiti in your room, really. I can't help but feel very concerned for you. Shower curtain. Okay, we have the security code. Okay. Oh no, more- oh my god, it's one of these again. I see a name down there. There's some sort of type of residue. Hmm. Something might help to reveal the my housing. And black light. Ah. This door has been boarded for too long at a time. Yeah, nothing should be in there, I think. What the? And I see we have a cat. More names to collect, guys. Okay. A lot of the names are Irish or Scottish descent. The East End Slasher may have prowled areas other than London with large heritage populations like Ireland or New York. Good point. That manhole cover was put on in a hurry. Somehow the killer scurried under the car and went down. That's a name there, right? No one squeezed into this car, it was lifted. I see a name over there. The car was lifted so the killer could get under. Then the jack was kicked out and the crank was taken down the hole. Okay. 
Some things need to rotate the screw. Um, girl, whoa. Well, that's some unconventional way to do this. Okay. Last name, guys. Last name. I've got all 20 names. This will keep the station and DA busy. Okay. As soon as we can send it to them. This is too high to reach to Shark. Shark curtain. Northbound. A plague just got away. Oh no. Another murder. Michael. Kelly, of course. His name wasn't on the police watch list. Someone knew his timetable from another neighborhood. There was no struggle, but how do you sneak up on someone in here? He was killed by someone he knew, or trusted, or didn't perceive as a threat. Someone posing as a workman, a police officer, a doctor. What? You were Mary Jane Kelly, who history says was the last victim of the East End Slasher. And you are in pain, wandering. The killer took his time. He spoke to you. Someone will pay a price on November 30th. The killer is an American. He did not say the date in an Englishman's order with the day first. If an American with a little money stayed in the East End for four months, they needed to stay in a lodge. Uh, so guys, here we go. This was... Uh... I guess this was uh, past Kelly. The killer took her ring and two pieces to her dress. She wants them back before she can rest. All right. Mm -hmm. The killer's trophy dropped, presumably in haste. Okay, Queen Weaver. We have her request, guys. Let's see whether we can abide by the request. I think we need to find an American stem. Oh. This is the only letter from America. It is addressed to Mr. Francis J. Tumblety, who rather fancies himself to be a doctor. Um, Bildo, I think it's not be uh you mean who? You do you mean Angelica or Angelica's is a very interesting story, I have to admit. Like I was not expecting that at all. If I have time tonight, I think I can do the bonus chapter. Okay, who is staying here? Only the right key will open the door. Okay. And here we go again. Oh, okay. What carving set? The owner of these sharp tools will be good at carving sheep. Oh, yes, I remember the sheep. Sumeric stamp. Scotland Yard questions headmaster in East End Slasher Murders. Druid is taking credit for someone else's handiwork. Apparently someone here is very bitter. Snake oil. All the other related bottles in this room, I'd say this is the source. Annie Chapman got her snake oil from this quack Francis Tumblety. <laughs> the quack. <laughs> uh. The quack. That's pretty funny. <laughs> 
uh, Angelica, like I said, Angelica is a very, very interesting story. Like I said, maybe I'll do the bonus chapter if, if we have time. If we, I can finish it by... yeah. This game has few people walking around in London, one of the biggest cities in the world. I'm just being a smarty pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bill, though. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Shaving kit. I don't know what a shaving kit looks like. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Ancient text and the Sumerian the Sumerian stem. But I'm now finding the ancient text. Ancient text, they said. Um, ancient text. Can you close the suitcase and see what's behind it? Um, no. No, um... If the words are white though, though, it means that um, they're here somewhere. We can actually see it. We don't need to move anything. We can actually see it. I'm trying to find the ancient text, but I'm not sure where I can find it. the Simran stem? Oh, that's um, that's unexpected. Oh. The same as found in John Dredd's room. Which man was the teacher and which was the student? And we want she wants a ring. Hmm. 
Your handwriting looks very familiar, boss. <laughs> I see you use an alias. On one note, you signed as Francis Tumblety. The other is Frank Townsend. I collected all 52 Dreamweaver guys. Yay. Yay, we got it, guys. We got it. This quilt has something to do with some type of Sumerian ritual. The missing pieces look like the dress pieces Mary Jane Kelly wants returned. Do I put the pieces in this quilt and further the case? Or satisfy Mary Jane's wishes? I feel compelled to give her what she wants. Your handwriting looks very familiar, boss. I see you use an alias. On one note, you signed as Francis Tumblety. The other is Frank Townsend. Two names. Okay, we may need to... Okay. I think we should give her what she wants. I mean... The killer took her ring and two pieces. The killer took her ring... Oh. What do we get in return? I did the right thing. Now that Mary knows about Tumblety, she wants me to catch him. She is giving me the dress pieces I found, as well as a third the killer tried to get. I'm going back to Tumblety's room and see how they fit that quilt. Let's do this, guys. Who said I only kill women? Today I'll make sure John Dress suicide is successful, boss. And guys, here we go. We're approaching the end of the main game. Here we go. We're in Chicago River. This statement always bothered me. It feels like a riddle. I know that Francis Tumblety of the past hated John Hewitt for taking some of the spotlight. I suspect nothing has changed in the present. Even more since this period is a licensed doctor. In a fit of anger, part of the plan was revealed. Hewitt, not Kelly, is going to die by the river. It has to happen on November 30th, and his office happens to be near the river on Green Street. And I see our killer has apparently shot himself. I can remove those ropes one at a time. Congratulations, you solve all puzzles in story mode. Yeah, thank you. Francis Townsend, oh. I presume. A direct descendant of Francis Tumblety. She kept the alias he used when fleeing the East End to live in New York and Missouri. And I see you have the knife here. The murder weapon. The killer won't be able to slash away to freedom this time. Cast me away to a while longer. I have the murder weapon and I have you, boss. Francis Tumblety was an East End slasher. History did not rec rec uh, record that he murdered Montague John Druid. He evaded capture by going back to New York under the alias Frank Townsend and completed his spree of 20 murders. The serial killer died of natural causes in 1903 at the age of 70. Tumblety's serial killing pattern was copied by his descendant, Francis Townsend. This time, Druid was spared. Her ego and compulsive need to stick the family pattern brought the reign of terror in Cicero to an end. An overactive murder weapon is retired. Signing out, Angelica. Yeah, we got story mode, and yeah, we completed without using her psychic powers. And congratulations, you completed story mode without using any hits. So guys, that was the end of the main game, everybody. I hope you guys all enjoyed, but don't go away. We have a bonus chapter, everybody, that I think is going to be very interesting. Okay, do we have time? Yeah, we have time. Okay. We gotta be quick, though. Okay. Salute to all the people. Yes, I would like to have the bonus chapter today. There's some unfinished business. Francis Townsend's place must be searched for evidence. 
It's time to correct history and put some cold cases to rest. Okay. Bonus chapter, everybody. I think Bilda, Bilda loves, like, you know. No offense, but for time traveling, psychic ghosting, detective, she really let a lot of people die. Ah, oh, Bilda, you, you're gonna, you're gonna like this plot twist. Yes, this, the plot twist is gonna happen after the bonus chapter. I guarantee, I don't think a lot of people actually saw that happening at all. Even I was surprised that that happened. Okay, we have bullets. Just stay tuned, Bilda, just stay tuned. I think you're finding everything very interesting. Okay, uh, skateboards, slow cooker. I have never used a slow cooker in my life. Um, rice cooker is one thing, but it's... Yeah. Second one. making homemade electronics. Bombs? Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully, hopefully. Please, no. Okay, uh, pigeon. Pro skateboard. Sugar bowl. Sugar bowl, pro baseball cap. It's the sugar bomb before. Okay. Purse. Speaker magnet. What? How do I know what it looks like? Speaker mining is useful? Okay, sure. I see we have a few things to find. We have pinball. A trap. Oh. The door is only locked at the slide chain. I can see a bomb is triggered, and I need to shut it off by opening the door the way she would. There are a lot of things on this mail flash. Someone's using it often. Probably to get inside without a key. Making sure nothing else is missed. Okay, ding is on this ship. Okay, ping ball. A magnet. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No.
Trying not to trip. I know. My local vitamin shop. Francis has taken up her ancestors' oh occupation for making dangerous snake oil concoctions. My freaking eyes were blind. I'm really sorry, guys. My eyes were blinded by the black and white. I'm really, I'm really freaking sorry. Okay, let me um take a look, please. No, I actually, I, I can't believe I was blinded by freaking. <laughs> I literally blinded. Ouch. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I think we need that. This heirloom quilt is made from the garments of victims. I recognize some newer additions. I'm keeping this evidence. Okay, okay. My eyes are starting to clear up. Great, that's great. Oh, good for I need a picture for Samantha to translate. Okay. I guess we're going back to email. Samantha, I came across this grid of Sumerian text. Can you help me with it? Angelica. I can translate this into English letters for you. Your name is in the grid. I believe this is a sacrifice grid. 20 people were sacrificed, 10 in sequence, and 10 at the end of the month. The mortal recipient of the soul's Gains longevity. Oh, good lord. So her name is on the grid. My name is in the grid. The 20 names I gathered must be in here. Oh, okay. Oh my god, my name is in there too. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. My my name is in there. Good lord. No way, my name is here. <laughs> they actually did it. My name is in there. Ah, oh, okay. I'm looking for O'Hara. Okay, I'm looking at all the A's to see what I can find at least like at least one Atlan Ekans. Yeah. Okay, Drake. Riley. O'Hara. So everyone, how's your, how's your day going? How's your day been? 
Just curious. Hope everyone's doing well today. Okay, uh, let's see. H. Okay, Macaulay. Macaulay. I still, I still couldn't find Kane. Oh, I see my name here. Nichols Tabram. Anderson Shepherd Ready and I think next one will be Kane. Okay, I announced I won't go live months this week because I'm gonna do IRL stuff. Okay, sure, Bildo, sure. <clears throat> I'll be streaming a lot more next week. I don't think I'm going to let Francis Townsend electrocute me. No, not tonight. Oh dang. <laughs> Okay, okay, this one is a little bit tough. But I'm sorry if I sound very wholesome. Yeah, this is a bonus level builder. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. The only reason for a metal door is to electrify it. Electrify. <clears throat> the beam needs to be cut off. Does she have anything that we can cut with? Oh, 
bullets? No, not bullets. Up oh, here we go. Yep, I knew it. Edmonton. I wonder if I can use a tin. Yep. Five generations Whoa. of slasher murderers. With the exception of one other person and me, that's 98 murders if I can find a link. Oh my god. What happened here? Five generations. from the victims many have names inscribed this evidence will link a lot of the victims to the murderers definitely this will definitely help the police improving many many things Tumblety got Mary Jane Kelly's ring back. He must have made a deal with Robert Mann at the mortuary. True. He must have, or he wouldn't have gotten the ring back. What's a crab cracker? Okay, I need to Google a cookie. Wait, what? A cookie? A cookie? Oh, you want? You mean those kind of crackers? Uh, I've never actually eaten like a crab cracker before. Let me take a look. I have actually never seen a crab cracker before in my life. What's this crab cracker? Oh, oh, those those kind of things. Um. Well, I'm not sure this is gonna make anything easier. I mean, look at the mess. Look at the mess here. I don't think it's gonna help a lot in the search. You know. Oh, you're never eating a crab. Oh my god. Build a crabs are good. Crabs are good. Maybe you can try going to like seafood restaurants or something next time in the future. Yeah, then I'll ask for a crab. Uh by the way, you crabs are expensive. They can they can be more expensive than like fish dishes and stuff, so you may want to watch out. But they're really good, they're really good. Look at this mess. How am I gonna find a crab cracker in this mess?
if you have not seen it, uh, if you have actually seen it, guys, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comment section. I sometimes can be a bit blind. Let me check something, guys. Just checking guys, just checking, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm not sure when I can find it. Wow, okay. Oh, I saw it. Oh my god, finally I found it. Okay, I found it, I found it. And I got ring evidence too. And I see we have something here. The metal plate needs to be lifted so evenly so an alarm or trap isn't set off. Speaker magnet. This is a combination of Francis were committed to memory, a more forceful. Okay, I'll go get a gun, I guess. Everyone thinks you're a doctor. Somebody longs for something that belongs to him. This mind is pure evil. I can't maintain contact. Good lord. He still wants his knife. Information about the knife. There are markings on the blade that I need to decipher. Well, if you won't talk, you may have to solve it on our own. Belladonna is a flower.
a money clip. I can see many things that could be a money clip here. Let's see what a money clip is. It's um, it's so they're, they're just give me wallet pictures. Okay, wallet pictures. So it's basically like a wallet, I guessing. Just a little metal clip to hold a few bills together. It's a little version of a wallet so you can keep a bunch of bills in your pockets to keep it from flying everywhere. Um, okay. I mean, I have never used um, a money clip in my life, ever, so uh, I may have problems finding it. Ah, oh, there we go. What the heck? This looks like the hat of mortuary assistant Robert Mann. Thanks, Bilbo. Okay, bowler hats. It looks like Robert Mann's hat. Why doesn't that surprise me? Well, since he doesn't, he can't, he doesn't talk about the... Um... Yeah, since he doesn't want to talk. Locked. In a working relationship. The school? Scientific scale. Report card. Bunsen burner, anatomy book. Oh dang, that's some, um, that's some, um, that's some report card. Mortuary key. There it is. And here we go. Something isn't right in here. I think Robert Mann Whoa. aspired to be Tumblety's student. If he was better at it, Tumblety would be the one in the coffin. He never saw his killer, but the last thought was an overwhelming sense of betrayal. So he could have known who the killer was. I felt the touch of the blade. There was nothing inscribed on it at that time. Then who would have the skills and tools to be commissioned to engrave a knife blade?
engraving tool. At least return him his hat. Okay. What surprises does John Pizer have for us this time? Padlock key. Ah. So I see we have um, we have this padlock key. Pizer isn't going to let me kick the door in again. I need to search his property and find that padlock key. <laughs> well, we found it. Ah. An engraving tool is missing. A missing piece of history has been filled in. So Got his engraving. A candle. Good lord. Okay. There must be a way to get the gunpowder out. Cracker? Good luck, Lilla. Are you YouTube short? Here we go. This is it. Ah. A history of Tumblety murders handed down through the generations. Who, how, when, where, and why? Oh my goodness. They recorded it in a book. Five generations was the magic. 20 sacrifices times five killers would provide the hundredth sacrifice. The family would all have been eternally rejuvenated. But number 100 was a weaver. And that is just plain unacceptable. <laughs> and they got my name too. <laughs> For me, that's totally not acceptable at all. If the slasher murder murders began during this war, they may be been they may have been considered as battle bloodshed rather than the actions of the individual. Tablet. Okay, fly swatter and um Okay, spice jar pair. Okay, we have eleven.
Okay. There are 11 spice jars. What do I do? Let me try. Let me uh, search for something first. I wonder if there's something else to find in this house. Oh, okay. There's um. Apparently, there's a um, another half of the room. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Francis must have something I want in that desk. If she went through so much trouble to rig it to blow up, the lids from pairs of spice jars are being used to complete an explosive circuit. Wow, this person is resourceful. Can't blame her for trying. Okay, this one. Okay, I made an experiment. Okay. Okay, let's see. Right here. Okay. 
Okay. Try not to confuse myself. I think I just confused myself. There's a moon here. Okay, another one. It worked. Also, I made a sec three second inch outro for clips. That's really nice. That's cool. That's cool, Bill, though. Okay, finally got it. Oh my god. Passcode. That's the passcode, isn't it? Oh, good lord. Okay, all the evidence has been gathered. Oh, whoops. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I can't exactly stay long. Okay guys, uh, Bildo, I think you might want to see this. This was the plot twist that I that I think you'll be very interested in. Hey, Brother Nick. This evidence will end the reign of the Cicero Slasher. A few cold cases are getting knocked off in the process. Give Scotland Yard my love. Angelica. The guys and I knew you were guiding us all along. Even when I look at your medals. I always knew death wouldn't stop you. The police medal of valor is only given to those who gave their life in the line of duty. They needed a special classification just for you. I think 
you get I hope you get the message or what that that they're trying to say though though. Okay guys, so that was the end of the entire game. Oh my god, that was a long game. I actually wanted to do Midnight Mysteries Houdini, but I think I'll do it in another day. So guys, hope you guys all enjoy, and yeah. Uh, Bilbo, you do know Angelica is, um, she is a ghost too. <laughs> she's dead. Yeah, she's a paranormal detective. She, she, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just basically just to explain what was going on there because I know you didn't pay attention. The, uh, the so I was explaining a bit to you. Yes, she is. So guys, hope you guys all enjoyed, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this revisit stream, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in on Twitch, and I will actually upload all this to YouTube once uh, some more hits. And I'll also be releasing Hunter Hotel number five or number six, Ancient Bane, main game as well. So hope you guys all enjoy, guys, and. See you soon everybody and peace out everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching.